Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I'm starting a new week of grocery hauls. This video will be filmed over about 10 days, um, so there'll probably be two hauls, this one and another one. Um, I just got back from Walmart, like I said. This was $56 for all of this. A bulk of it is from my new obsession, which I'll tell you guys about. So let's just start off with these. My coworker got me onto these. She eats these like maybe, I don't know, two times a week for lunch along with she'll have like a piece of fruit or some kind of like maybe side salad with it and they smell so good. So I'm always like stocking her lunch to see what she has. Anyway, she brought me one of these in um, to try the other day and they, it was so good. I made it. It was so yummy um, that I was like, where did you get them? And she said like Target sells them, Walmart sells them and a few local grocery stores sell them. So of course I headed to Walmart because I knew they'd have the best price. Um, they are $3.37 each at Walmart. I will say for me, I can eat a whole one. Obviously, as you can see, they're not huge and I'm still hungry. Um, so what I do or what I plan to do is have one of these and then like a side salad or a piece of fruit like she has because they're pretty small as most like frozen pot pies are. What I like about this is the crust is really good. It tastes very homemade, like maybe your grandmother made it. Um, there's good ingredients in it. It says it's made from scratch. And my coworker who got me out of these is a pretty health conscious eater more so than me. Um, and she's pretty happy with the ingredients. So I really like it. Um, it's white meat chicken. No, it says minimally processed, no artificial ingredients. Um, so that's why they're more pricey than like the Banquet or the Marie Callender brand. They're almost double the price of those. But they really do taste homemade. And with the cold season coming up, the winter season, I thought these would be a great lunch to take. The only downfall I will say, you can microwave them. She said they don't taste as good, which I would have known anyways. But um, the only downfall is they take a long time to cook. They take 35 to 45 minutes. So what she said she does, which I'll probably do as well, is we have an oven at work, like an actual oven. So she will cook, she'll preheat the oven and cook this at work, like she'll pop it in the oven, go back to work, and then she'll time it so when her lunch break starts, this is done, and then she'll have her full hour for lunch. Uh, her and I are both on salary, so um, we both get an hour for lunch. So. That's what I plan to do with these. I also thought it would be good to do once in a while with a soup or a salad for dinner. Um, my husband is not a chicken pot pie in general fan. I'm going to have him try some of mine because I think he had like a bad experience because he always tells me how much he hates chicken pot pie. Very random, I know. However, she also mentioned that these were good, so I got these for my husband to try out. They're the Blake's Shepherd's Pie. So it's an all-natural ground beef and mashed potato topping. It looks like there's corn and maybe some veggies in there. This one is gluten-free. This one is not. However, they do have a gluten-free version. So I wanted to share that because I know you guys like seeing new foodie items. Um, and again, with winter coming up, I'm all about like cozy food. So I will let you know how these are. I already know these are good, but I would recommend doing them in the oven. Um, great if you're a stay-at-home mom or a work-at-home mom and you have the time and you're home. I'm just going to do what my coworker does pop them in the oven and they'll be good to go when I go on lunch break anyway so I grabbed a bunch of these as you can see I also needed some yogurt pouches for my son he takes these for snack to school so I got this the juice we all drink white cranberry strawberry I got simply orange pulp free it got a little messed up because I dropped it um, because we are going on a play date Saturday uh, with a whole bunch of moms and kids and we're gonna do like mimosas and munchies and things like that so I was asked to bring orange juice and champagne which I have to pick up Friday in my day off so I got this I got bananas because my son likes these and raspberries because my son goes through like definitely one of these per week and I actually have been throwing them in my smoothies as well um, I got some couple Snapples, they're a dollar, plastic bottles, black cherry lemonade for my husband and watermelon lemonade for my husband's lunches. I also found the 8-pack of Body Armor, which I did not even know they had, an 8-pack. 
They're about $1.24 a piece, and for the eight pack, it was $5.98. However, the bottles are smaller than the normal size bottles. Just wanted to note that, but these will be good to pop in my husband's lunches. And then I also got Gatorade for my husband. He really likes Gatorade or like Powerade year round. Um, I don't know, he just really likes it. So I grabbed the green apple, and these are the 12 ounce bottles, I think, yes. 12 ounce bottle so yeah everything here is from walmart 56 dollars i think 57 dollars something like that and just stay tuned for the next haul after this one so i just got home from walmart this is being filmed like almost a week later after the last haul and i'll show you guys everything i got this haul was about 105 dollars so i'm going to start on this side and work my way over here so one of the things on my list was to get the game operation because Grady has been begging me to play it um, with him. And this was in like the clearance toy and game section. And the only thing wrong with it is the box is damaged, which I could care less about. I can just tape it easily. So it was 10.08 because of that, but it works just fine and I'm just gonna put a little tape on it, like a little Band-Aid, and we'll be good to go. So I was happy to get that for a little bit cheaper. I grabbed some Coffee Cup Bakery. These are like the sub rolls. They freeze really well, and I can use them for sandwiches and even dinners if we do some kind of a sandwich. I got the party size bag of scoops. Some, my son needs like undershirts, so I just got these Fruit of the Loom ones. They were the best deal for the money. It was $8.96 for eight t-shirts and they're tag free which my son likes they're just perfect because the colder weather is starting to creep in sorry i got a phone call i think i was saying these are perfect for layering underneath um, like sweaters and hoodies and stuff i got some spring mix for salads and sandwiches some of this uh, classico traditional pizza sauce this is also good to use as like a marinara dipping sauce we're going to do mozzarella sticks um, for football coming up soon so i'm going to use that sauce some turkey for lunches these Entenmann's soft chocolate chip cookies. I love these. These are really good for a little treat. I got some more goldfish. I love this little fall box. And we just get the regular cheddar flavor. They did not have Stonyfield pouches in the box. They only had individual ones. And the flavor he doesn't like was like the beet one. He doesn't like that. So whenever Stonyfield's out, I go for the Danimals squeezables in strawberry banana. I had a coupon for Huggies. Uh, pack of Huggies. These are only $1.54 and I had a 50 cent off coupon so they were a dollar and I've been liking the Huggies variety like a variety of the Huggies wipes lately. I also had coupons for my cat's food so I got two because I needed to use both coupons so I'm good for 24 days because she has one pack a day. Two 12 packs good for a while on these. These are my son's granola bars that he likes. The chewy chocolate chip less sugar. I grabbed those. I got some uh, Apple and Eve grape juice for my son to bring for a snack to school. My husband tried an Oikos yogurt at my mom's house the other day and really liked it. I did not even know my husband was into yogurt. Actually, he's not really into yogurt, but he said to get some of the Oikos. He liked this specific Oikos kind at my mom's. So I got him, uh, this is toasted coconut Greek yogurt. I got him the pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice yogurt, Greek yogurt. I got the triple zero strawberry and the triple zero salted caramel. So I'm gonna throw those in his lunches and see what he thinks. I grabbed a Cormel Mary Kitchen reduced sodium corned beef hash. Every once in a while, I like to make this for breakfast in the morning or breakfast for dinner. And it just sometimes sounds really good with like eggs and potatoes or bacon, it's just, every once in a while type of thing. I had a coupon for these. I've never ever in my life used these. I've, I've known about them and seen them for years, but I had a coupon for these for a dollar off. So I thought why not try them and see if there's any difference. Um, I guess they're just like a vegetarian fed hen egg. So we're gonna try them. I got two things of tuna for my husband because I make like tuna macaroni salad and tuna fish for him. And he actually asked me to make tuna casserole for him. So I got a couple of those. 
This is the oil that I like to use when I have to fry something, whether that be meat or eggplant parm or anything that needs to be like fried. This is the oil that I like. It's the Smart Balance Cholesterol Free with Omega 3s. Um, and I'm almost out of the bottle that I have, so I got this as a backup. My son's been asking me for mandarin oranges, specifically in the can. So I got two dull mandarin oranges, which have the like pull top. And I would say I can probably get two two times out of these um, because he'll eat like half a can one day and half a can the next day type of thing with like a little as like a little side dish some ranch because we go through quite a bit of that with vegetables for dipping on football some of our white cranberry strawberry juice we needed some salt like table salt so I just got the Morton's and then I got uh, many smaller 10 ounce bottled waters for my son to take to school he also likes to bring one in his backpack, and then we got the large, regular size waters for Matt and I, and obviously Grady can drink them too. $1.74 for this 24 pack, and I really like this water, the Great Value water. I've mentioned before, any of our bottles or cans um, with a deposit always get recycled, and even the ones without a deposit, we recycle, so we don't just toss them in the trash. We have recycling, huge recycling bins in our garage for all plastic bottles and cans and things like that. Just wanted to mention that but anyways this is everything from walmart and i'm going to share my meal plan for next week meal plan for the upcoming week sunday the 22nd and monday the 23rd we will be in we're flying out to kansas city saturday morning we'll be in kansas city sunday and then monday we fly home we'll be home in the afternoon so these two days obviously sunday we're going to eat in kansas city and monday since we're going to be getting home in the afternoon picking up our son from school and he has therapy so to be honest we'll probably grab something out to eat after his therapy because that will not be done till like 6 30 so we'll probably go out to eat or grab something monday night Tuesday, I have a Home Chef box coming this uh, week that I planned specifically for this week since we're going to be traveling on the weekend. So one of the meals in the Home Chef box is a Tex-Mex steak sandwich with oven fries. Uh, one night, I'm going to make tuna casserole for Matt because he's been requesting it. And he is working at a indoor job next week that he has an ability to heat up food so i'm going to make it on the night before one of those days so he can take leftovers for work and i do not eat tuna i just don't like it i'm not a fish person so that night i'm going to make myself a big salad and some kind of sandwich another home chef meal we're having next week is chicken kiev with green beans and i'm going to make rice as well and then I'm also going to do some roasted sausage with that colored cauliflower I got from Trader Joe's with potatoes, kind of like a one dish roasted meal. And then I'm going to do maple mustard glaze pork chops. We're going to grill those. I literally just mix maple syrup and spicy mustard together and then glaze the pork chops with it. It's really good. And I'll make some kind of potato and some kind of veggie or salad. So that is what next week looks like. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next video.